What is going on guys? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now there are many things in GTA Online which are frustrating and irritating, but in today's video I'm going to be going through the top 10 most annoying things that can possibly happen to you in GTA Online. So let's get straight into things and start off in number 10. So this right here is a scenario which seems to happen quite frequently. Upon calling Pegasus, selecting the vehicle which you want to have delivered, and then driving down to the spawn location, the vehicle itself disappears from the minimap and you receive a callback from Pegasus saying unfortunately the vehicle had to be recalled and could not be delivered at this time. And this seems to happen to me an awful lot, nearly every time in fact, and maybe it is just me, maybe I'm very unlucky or I'm doing something wrong, but I'm sure it's not not just me, I'm sure there are a number of people out there also facing the same problem when calling Pegasus up and having a vehicle delivered. It seems to get recalled at the final second just before you're about to arrive at the location where it's supposed to be. It is certainly a very, very frustrating moment and that's why this is in number 10. So let's move on to number 9. This one is pretty self-explanatory and only really takes two words to explain it. Those two words being Mount Chiliad. I'm pretty sure there's not a single person watching this video right now that hasn't at least experienced this once in GTA Online. So for one reason or another, you have been separated from your personal vehicle whilst on Mount Chiliad. And you find yourself in a location which seems almost impossible to leave. If you want to go up the mountain, after a few steps, you seem to slip and fall and slide down the mountain and eventually die. And no matter what you do, you never seem to make any progress. And let's face it, going down the mountain simply isn't an option because the bottom is so far away. But eventually, of course, if you keep on trying, you can beat Mount Chiliad, you can get to the top on your own two feet, but it will take a lot of time and a lot of swearing in the process, and that's why getting stuck on Mount Chiliad is one of the most frustrating things in the game. And this next one is also pretty self-explanatory, the loading screens. I am placing the loading screens in eighth place in this lineup for the simple fact that sometimes they can take an unnecessary amount of time. Now I fully understand when loading the game up and things like that, the loading screens are required. They don't really take any longer than 30 seconds or so if you're lucky. But sometimes they seem to last forever and you have to sit in them for a necessary amount of time. Especially when you're changing sessions or you're backing out from a job, these loading screens can sometimes last up to 2 or 3 minutes. Which to me seems very, very unnecessary, especially when the game itself can load up in a lot less time. But there is something even worse than loading screens, so as you're backing out of a job or you're trying to find a new session and during the loading screens you might be greeted with this alert message right here which reads there has been an error joining a session please return to Grand Theft Auto 5. So rather than try to connect you to a different session instead it takes you back to story mode. Thanks Rockstar that's exactly what I wanted to do. But let's move on to the sixth most annoying thing in GTA Online this of course being the mechanic. There are so many different problems and issues involving the mechanic, but definitely the most annoying thing is the delivery of vehicles. So when you call your mechanic up and you request a vehicle to be delivered, you want that vehicle to be delivered to you and as quickly as possible. But sometimes it can take a while and the vehicle gets delivered a fair distance away. And the location itself can sometimes be very difficult and awkward to get to. Now the example which I've shown you guys in the video isn't exactly the best, but nevertheless it just goes to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So I was near the Los Santos Customs and I requested the vehicle and it should have been placed on the road nearby, but for some reason it was placed unnecessarily far away just around the corner. But there are much worse examples than this, for example when near a bridge and you request a vehicle, if you're under it, sometimes it gets delivered on the bridge itself. Of course meaning you have to somehow climb up it to get to your vehicle, which can be quite difficult to do sometimes. But I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about and I'm sure you guys have had some pretty bad experiences yourselves. Anyway, but coming in at number 5, we of course have Simeon and his desire to request pretty much every vehicle on the map that spawns in. I'm sure you guys are sick and tired of this one and it's definitely very very frustrating when this takes place. So you're in GTA Online just roaming around, having fun, and maybe you've lost your personal vehicle and you're desperate just to steal a vehicle to get somewhere around the map. So you find the nearest vehicle closest to you and you get into it. But upon doing so, you then receive a two-star wanted level and the police instantly start chasing you down. 
And it's all because Simeon wants this vehicle. But first, he wants you to take it to the custom shop to get it resprayed, and then drive all the way down to the docks to his warehouse, where he'll then buy it from you for a very little amount of money, which makes it almost a waste of time. And apart from the fact that you receive a two-star wanted level every time you get into one of these vehicles, what makes it even more annoying is that there's no way of actually disabling this feature in GTA Online. But coming in at number four are AI drivers. And again, there are all sorts of problems involving the drivers in GTA 5, but one of the main ones being the drivers running you over even though you're standing in front of their car with plenty of distance for them to brake or slow down before they collide with you. So what you might do whilst playing in free mode is stand in the middle of the road so the cars themselves come to a stop so you can steal one of them. And even though there's plenty of space between you and the car itself to break, for some reason they don't slow down for the last minute and they still crash into you, as you guys can see in the gameplay. But sometimes they don't slow down at all and they hit you so hard that you die. Now early last year, Rockstar added heists into GTA Online. They aren't quite as popular anymore, but some players still play them because it is a great way to make money in GTA Online. But the main issue involving heists are the fact that if any players back out, the heist immediately ends and you don't receive any money whatsoever, no matter how much progress you have into the heist mission. And that right there is the main issue with this. You could have spending loads and loads of time in the heist mission, completing most of the stages, getting quite close to the end, only to find and all of a sudden, one of the players backs out for no reason whatsoever, ending the heist mission straight away and resulting in no money being made whatsoever. It can certainly be very, very frustrating when it takes place, and it seems to happen a lot when you're playing with random people in GTA Online, which is maybe why most people only play heist missions with friends. But moving on to number two, we of course have the police. Police brutality in GTA 5 is just crazy. It just takes one look from the police at you and they decide you deserve to die. And it's not like you even do anything to intimidate them. You can literally be minding your own business, maybe walking around. You might be able to stand by a few police officers just admiring what they're doing. Sometimes, and this is the worst one, sometimes you're walking around just minding your own business and all of a sudden a police car comes along crashes into you and then for some reason you get a wanted level for just being there. But there we go guys, I think it's safe to say the police are very very annoying and can be a very frustrating feature in GTA 5 and that's why I am classifying them as the second most annoying thing in GTA Online. But finally moving on to number one, in first place the most annoying thing in GTA Online are of course the players themselves. I am of course referring to those players which feel the need to drive around and just kill players unnecessarily with no real reason whatsoever. And usually what these people do is choose the first person closest to them and pick a fight with them, just for no reason whatsoever. They'll go to their location, they'll run them over, they'll shoot them, they'll do anything they can to kill these people over and over and over again and it doesn't matter whether you respond or not, they'll keep on doing it. And it's also the exact same group of people that also fly around in sessions with Hydras just killing everyone over and over and over again for no real reason whatsoever. And I'm sure like most of you guys, I find this extremely annoying. There seems to be loads of these players in GTA Online and why they do it to me is a mystery. And what I usually do is ignore these people and not respond and just hope they go away. But nevertheless, these people are very, very annoying and that's why I've placed them in first place as the most annoying thing in GTA Online. So there we go guys, that's pretty much it for this video, that is my list of the top 10 most annoying things in GTA Online. Hopefully you guys agree with my list, but if you guys have any changes, maybe you guys have some new suggestions, of course go ahead and leave a comment on this video. Also be sure to drop a like on this video, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please do, as I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.